reasonable. The legal society is opposing the introduction of the affordable housing levy, stating that the law made no sense and threatens the social economic interests of Kenyans against the principle of social justice. LSK has submitted a petition in court against the implementation of the Financial Act of 2023, saying that it is against the law and the constitution of Kenya. So what we have done is that we have gone to court to seek to stop uh, the implementation of the order as has been uh, directed by the Minister of Lands to and appointing KRA as the uh, appointing as the collection agent. We have also uh, sought in the same pet uh, petition that our application, which we had filed earlier, seeking to stop uh, the implementation of the housing fund, uh, be heard uh, uh, before the court can determine the question of the validity of uh, the housing fund. And so uh, the, the application is already before court, so we will wait uh, for court to give directions. But that is a, a, uh, the reason why we have had to, to move uh, to the court to, to seek. LSK says that the implementation of the new law will be more burdened for Kenyans who are already suffering due to the high cost of living. This case comes one week after the courts of appeal removed the order that was placed by the high court to prevent the implementation of the Finance Act. All employees will be subject to salary deductions from the end of August this year to pay 1.5% housing levy. This comes at a time when the government has begun to implement the act following an announcement that salaried employees will pay housing levy deductions from July 1st, 2023. Uh, seen the notice that has come from the Ministry of Lands uh, indicating that the fees would be backdated to the 1st of July. Uh, we find that as an act of impunity because from the 1st of July, there were court orders that stopped the implementation of the fund. And so therefore, considering that this, this is a levy that is collected on salaries, salaries for first, from the period of 1st of July have already been paid. So therefore, how do you collect and backdate it? It is creating an unreasonable strain on employers who have already paid salaries because that means that they must get that money from their own pocket. The employees who have already been paid have used that uh, salary. The government's decision through the housing department to collect housing deductions from July 1st means that workers will be double taxed this month. Therefore, the salaries of all workers in the country will be reduced by 3%, considering that the housing fee is 1.5% of the worker's salary. This means that an employee who receives a salary of 20000 per month will be charged 300 every month. The money will be saved in the housing fund. At the end of this month, the salary of such an employee will be reduced by 600 shillings. The Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, has directed employers to deduct the affordable housing levy contributions from employee salary. In a public notice, the authority wants employers to remit its 1.5% contribution alongside a salary rate for their employees as well. The move by KRA follows an announcement by the Lands Ministry backdating the mandatory contribution as proposed in the Finance Act 2023. In the statement, KRA says, KRA wishes to further clarify that all employers are required to declare the AHL under sheet M of the payee return on ITAX and generate a payment slip under the tax head, agency revenue and tax subhead housing levy and make payments at KRA agents, banks or mobile money. The authority started in a notice. KRA further indicated that employers who fail to remit the deductions shall be liable to payment of all penalty equivalent to 2% of the unpaid funds for every month until they comply with the law. Brian Amwai, Look Up TV, Nairobi.